Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll do the press conference now for qualifying for the four hours of Red Bull Ring. Um, our three pole position holders, and uh, for LMP2, for the second time this year in EMS, and the third time because we're going to include Le Mans in this, um, Paul Luchatin, the number 28 Edic Sport, Orica 07 Gibson. Paul, fantastic result once again, 0.019 seconds fast on, the, on your last flying lap. You, I think your smile says it all, it's a great lap. Yeah, exactly. It was a great lap, and uh, like you say, it was very close. I think it was with Nelson Ponciatici, which is my old teammate, so I was happy to, to beat him. But uh, no, it was, it was, we were already on the limit, and uh, unfortunately, at the beginning of the session, I, I had a lot of traffic, uh, so I, I was not able to, to push as much as I wished. And uh, so we bolted, and uh, we put uh, just two new tires, and we restart like that. And uh, I, I know that it was not perfect to have just two new tires at the end, but that gave me the possibility to maybe have one or more, one or two laps more to, to be able to charge the pole position. And yeah, like you said, it's my uh, second pole position of the year in ALMS, my third of the year uh, with Le Mans. So I'm really happy. And uh, moreover, you know, two um, two years ago, uh, I got the pole position here also. So uh, I'm yeah just very happy today for for me, but uh, mainly for the team. The top five are covered by just 0.3 seconds. It's, I know it's a short circuit here, but that just demonstrates how competitive the LMP2 class is this year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's very competitive. And uh, I think we were already so, so that in Le Mans, uh, between uh, me and Berton, I think it was 4,000. So it was nothing here. It's more or less the same. So the level this year of the LMP2, and especially in ELMS, is really high. And, and I think it's very good for the championship. And uh, mm -hmm. when you got a pole position with this high level of a driver, you can just be happy. Paul Luke, congratulations and gr congratulations again to Edic Sport. In LMP3, the number 980 racing Ligier Nissan, Mikko Jensen, first pole of the season for Ligier after two Normas the previous season, the first for an Austrian team at home, and your first pole since uh, Portugal last year. So, Mikhail, a 126.408, um, just a tenth ahead of all the rest of the, the top ten were covered by 0.8 of a second. Again, fantastic result. You must have been really happy with that lap. I wasn't really happy with the lap. I didn't expect uh, to be first, actually, before I heard on the radio. Uh, we have done a lot of setup changes in the practice. We didn't really make everything come together, so we didn't know what to expect. You know, we have a strong uh, car for the race. We didn't know anything about quali, but... Yeah, it's always good to, to start in front, so we have the best position for tomorrow. Your Belarusian teammates, father and son teammates, live in Vienna, so obviously they cl class this as their home race. Yeah, they've lived here for 20 years. It, this, is, this is their home. Uh, we're racing with the Austrian flag, so it's the best place to, to do the pole, and I hope we can, we can maintain a good speed tomorrow. Same question I asked for Paul Lou. You know, the competitiveness in LMP3 is astounding this year. Everything is so tight, isn't it? Everything is really tight. The normals are getting really quick since last year, so uh, it's difficult to keep up with them, especially in the straight line speed. So tomorrow is going to be a tough start. I think I will do it. Uh, but I have two normals in the back. They're around 8 to 10 k's faster than the straight, so it's going to be a tough job. So we're looking forward to an exciting race tomorrow. Thank you. Definitely. <laughs> and in uh, our LMGTE pole position holder, number 66 JMW Motorsport Ferrari F488 GTE, Miguel Molina. Um, we did have to check this. It's the first pole position for the team since Hungary 2013, so a long time ago. It's a long time coming back for JMW, even though they've won the championship. But uh, a 128.827 with all six cars covered by half a second. So, Miguel, congratulations. Again, a hard-fought um, qualifying session and ended up on pole. Yeah, for sure it was a, a good qualifying. Uh, I tried to be alone in the track with six cars. is, is quite easy, but uh, uh, you never know. And that uh, it's really important here because you have to build your own rhythm. And I knew that from the past in DTM, I was here uh, several times. And I knew that uh, every lap that you are doing with with uh, this kind of cars uh, is it's better because the, the, the track is not so abrasive or aggressive on the tires. So we decided only to put one set of tires. Uh, I think uh, Bertolini put two sets and, and Cairoli as well. So uh, I knew that this at the end was not the, the thing to, 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 to do because uh, of that, uh, what I said. But 
I'm really happy about it. Uh, like you say, it's a long time ago that uh, GMW is not doing a pole position in the ELMS, so I'm, I'm really happy for them. Um, let's see tomorrow. Uh, I think we are still leading the championship, uh, and, and tomorrow uh, we'll try to score some more points and uh, look uh, for a race by, the, by race and, and try to do a, a, a good uh, race tomorrow. Everyone's looking at the sky at the moment and looking at the weather. We had wet this morning in the free practice session. We had dry this afternoon in qualifying. How difficult do you think the, the decisions are going to be made for tomorrow? Because obviously we still don't know what the weather's going to do. We prefer wet or dry. Uh, well, when we wake up tomorrow, we'll, we, will, <laughs> we will see and we will know. But uh, today was a, a, good, a good thing that at least we, we try a bit of the car on, on wet conditions. Uh, we, we managed to to use both uh, both uh, tires, the intermediate and the and the full wet. So at least we have some idea how to use it here, and that's that's important. So the car felt good, also in wet conditions. And what it will come tomorrow, it will be good for for us for sure. Gentlemen, thank you very much indeed to our pole position winners, and uh, we'll see you all, all tomorrow for the four hours of Red Bull Ring. Thank you, gentlemen.